Subscribe for the very latest. Bye, Daddy. It's the 30th anniversary of Illmatic. Yes, sir. 30th anniversary of Illmatic. Um, Dang, we old. It? Right, that's what I said. That's what I said. Yeah, time, man. Time just right. flies. <laughs> what does Illmatic mean to Jay Red? What does, does Illmatic mean? You got Illmatic back there on your you wall. You see it? Yeah. yeah. Let me tell you something, man. Some of my favorite rappers came out in the year 94. Um, Nas dropped his first album in 94. Bone Thugs dropped their first EP, their first mm -hmm. project in 94. Biggie dropped his first album in 94. Outkast dropped their first album in 94. Mm -hmm. You got to think, man, 94 was just the, the, the renaissance boom of some of yeah. the highest selling best artists that are out. Hell, even mm -hmm. my fiance, she was born in 94. Mm -hmm. So 1994 is a, is, a, is a big year. You know what I'm saying? And um, Illmatic, to go to where Illmatic means to me, I didn't even catch on to Illmatic until realistically my teenage years. Mm. And when mm -hmm. I listened to it after time had passed, because my first Nas album that I bought was Stillmatic. But mm. when I went back okay. and listened to Illmatic and I bought the CD, of course I got the vinyl and everything. It just, it means so much because it was an original sound and it was the mm -hmm. purest form of hip hop you could probably get, you know, um, outside of, you know, you've had other albums, right? But in modern mm -hmm. times, when you're talking about what hip hop represents, you could put that album 50 years from now. People will say, go listen to Nas Illmatic. Over every album that, that it has came out, I feel like Illmatic captures the essential hip hop sound. Now, of course, hip hop branched out, went to different coasts and different things like that, but we got to keep it real and original and authentic. It came from New York, that's the birthplace. And I know if y'all have ever been in New York, I know every time I've went, um, I feel the essence of hip hop. I feel mm -hmm. it. I'm in Atlanta now, and of course, you know, you feel hip hop, but to really feel like the air and mm. the, the grittiness and everything, the birthplace, when every time I touch down in New York, I feel the element of hip hop. So, uh, so it, yeah, that's what Illmatic does for me, man. It just takes me to a zone to where I just feel like I'm, I'm witnessing the true essence of hip hop from start to finish and he was also the first artist to work with different producers but it was cohesive and mm -hmm. when i hear um new york state of mind and then when i hear uh life's a bitch which is my favorite probably arguably mm -hmm. my favorite song on there mm -hmm. visualism mm -hmm. visualizing the realism of life and actuality fuck who's mm -hmm. and az and that turned me on the az Ooh. With, he would cook it with do or die and uh sugar hill and uh uh happy or is it whole happy jackie what, what is it yeah yeah, yeah 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 you got it right yeah you know what i'm saying and then it just and um what what's the what's the song him and nas did on uh az's other album oh uh, you talking about the flyers it's about the flyers not the flyers i love that one too but it was another song that was on az's album oh it's about mo money mo murder mo homicide is that not is that, that one that oh one? it's killing me right now hold on it's 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 on my um my thing real quick oh pieces it's off of uh pieces of men okay, how you living okay how yeah, you yeah, yeah 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 uh, yeah so mm. anyway to make it make a long story short man that's that's what illmatic means to me just the true essence of hip-hop mm. so well i was like, well, what what do you have you listened to illmatic oh of course okay uh, what, 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 what is, now now listen you understand illmatic is just as old as walt is well, it's got two years right? on me. Yeah. About two years on you, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, no, I, I'm older than El Matic. My, it's a 94, okay. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I was yeah. two. That's my that's my Okay, name. okay. What, was, what is El Matic to you though? Like what would you hear it though? When, when, when I you mean think about it? when I when I think about like how I when I really started to listen to hip hop for real, for real. I, I've I've always listened to like like OG stuff, like old or like old school stuff. Um, cause I kind of came up like listening to like what your parents listen to like, right. as I grew up. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, that's Motown and stuff like that. And I'm, you know, I held on to that for a while and my father did not like hip hop. Like my father did, <laughs> he did not <laughs> like hip hop. Welcome to the club. <laughs> I'm saying like it was jazz records. That's what, that's what nice. But, um, when I was like, well, I like hip hop, so I'm gonna listen to hip hop. Nas to me, Nas is is, is top three. And 
but I listened. My little brother was the one to put me on because he was more of the rebel in the house. He was like, I'm listening to hip hop. So I really don't care. <laughs> so he's the right. one that really put me on. And um, when I listen to Illmatic, it's, it's, it's one of my favorite albums, period. Um, it ain't hard to tell. It's probably my favorite right. song on yeah. there. Like, it ain't hard to tell and uh, memory lane. The production mm. and the, the the way that the sound flows and all that. Right. Those are like probably my two favorite songs. But I love the the story it tells. I love right. how I love everything about the album. Like like even when it starts off in the Genesis and you have the skit going. Right. And and all that. Like I, I love the whole thing. Right. But yeah. those are two my those are my two favorite songs. Memory Lane and it ain't hard to tell. Man, so, those, those are classics, bro. Yeah. Those are classics, man. Uh Chuck. You from you yeah. from you from you from Middle Georgia, brother? Yeah, the country you know, from the country, for country sh- for sure. What is Illmatic to you? Man, Illmatic was a uh, a living. It's a living piece of art to me, um, because I got introduced to Nas through live at the barbecue. Mm. Mm. Uh, through main source, main source is probably like at that time with you know, uh, at the front door, and it was another joint on a soundtrack. I can't think of it now. So I was like, okay, then when I heard live at the barbecue, I was like, I was like this, who is this Nas person rapping like this? And he's mad disrespectful, like he talking about what the hell for snuffing Jesus. I'm like, who's saying this? Like, first of all, you got to go repent, you got to go figure that out. But, um, so after that, I was like, okay, cool, but. I had a like a break from Nas, so I didn't really kind of revisit Nas until maybe around um, whichever album that was where um, uh, Nas is like on Nostradamus. Mm-hmm. So that's when I kind of got reacquainted with Nas from a, just from my album standpoint. Then I kind of went through Stillmatic. Uh, then I went to Godson. Then I had to come back to Illmatic. So I didn't really start listening to Illmatic until I was like a junior in high school. And they was mad at me because I played it religiously for a long stretch of time. Like, and this one I had the 212s in the back. So they were like, hey, you playing that, that, that you playing the Illmatic again? Yes. <laughs> playing it again. So um I think it was just like Illmatic is one of those albums felt like the avengers came together and said we're gonna do a <laughs> a project real quick you got right heat rock you got premiere q-tip mm-hmm. like it, it just uh it just a uh, a, a all-star uh of talent to have this young man put his talent on on the best platform possible and and there's so many songs like halftime just that uh, I would say probably New York State of Mind halftime, and probably the probably one that don't get mentioned a lot, but it's probably one of my favorites is um, represent. Oh, like, he man. just yeah. represent. He just in, he just in a rap pocket that he just right. he was just consistent, and I was like, yo, he is just in a flow. He he yeah. took in the flow this whole oh, album, right. but that that's one of his like in the pocket. Yeah, like yeah. He, he was he was in that pocket like like he really wanted yeah. to represent you know what i mean like exactly. he was in that he was in that mode you know what i mean yeah you're right so Definitely. i i so yeah it's it just it's a it's a really favorite album because about two-thirds of this song ends up on ig as just from a production standpoint alone like like track libs uh any uh it's another one something samples the the production just got here you got Nas in God tier mode. It's it just uh, uh, a perfect storm of just elite lyricism, storytelling, and production in one shot. Like it, it just that's 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 the best way I can put it. Mm, that's crazy. You know, it's a it's a lot, man. Elmatic. I get emotional just talking about Illmatic sometimes, man. And then the reason mm-hmm. why is because 
Um, first of all, you understand. First of all, understand this. First of all, Nas. Nas is seventeen writing this stuff. That's crazy. Right, seventeen, eighteen, somewhere in there. Um, and hip hop is seventeen years old at this time. Mm. Yeah. So Nas, Nas is 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 in hip hop almost the same age. Or, you know, depending on who you ask, but hip hop is maybe around between, I'll say between like like sixteen and seventeen years old. Mm-hmm. Right, but you know, to me, for me, Illmatic. See, I've, I've, I'm, a, I'm the oldest one on this, on this, on this panel right now. I've grow, I've seen every phase of hip hop, right? So, you know, I, you know, we go from, you know, I said the hit hop, you know, to, to, you know, I mean, the, the, the styles, the styles were changing. Right when Rakim came, mm-hmm. he changed the game. His his laid back style because everybody was so mm-hmm. energetic. Rakim came, yep. flipped the whole script, and then Karis One came, and then Slick Rick came, um, then then Big Daddy Kane. They all rushed. 88, 88 was a crazy year. I think ninety four was crazy. Yeah. Eighty eight yeah. was crazy. I mean, so many artists lifted up the flag of hip hop. They're the ones that took the flag and like you know what. We got this, right? Yes. So, the though that '88 class took the flag, and here comes '94, right? '94 comes, and hip hop is in a is in a different space. I think because Death Row's here. I think at this time around, yep. mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Yep. and it's a lot. As so, hip hop has changed, like. 94 is the is the time the hip hop flipped again. So your favorite artists ain't they ain't they ain't popping like that. All those artists just name it, they popping, but they ain't popping like that anymore. And now here's the thing about those artists I mentioned. I love them to death. I love them, but I could not relate to them. <clears throat> I'm 14 years old. I don't get along with my father like that. You know what I'm saying? My uncles, my uncles, they they out there doing whatever they doing. So for me, I'm growing as a man by myself. Really. I felt like I'm I'm, I'm learning off experiences of, of other people, but I'm becoming a man off just people's mistakes. Right? Mm. Nas comes. That's why I get emotional because when Nas comes. When he when hit that when that Illmatic comes out, it gives me it gives me hope because I now I hear somebody that I can relate to, who who lost friends to to the streets, who who seen things and is very honest about that, mm-hmm. very honest about it, and I can I'm listening to him I'm like yo man like that could be my my own, my brother. I could be my cousin. I like. I know exactly what he's saying, and the way Illmatic is written, it's it's the greatest poetry that mm. you can still break down now to this day. He said, "What he he, he says he says something about um, he said um, I wish this black cat cloud find another black to follow." Right, mm. he's, he he feels like he he he's he, it's bad luck all over him. Everywhere he goes, is a black cloud. Mm. You know, mm. Matt. He's se- he's seventeen years old, man. Yeah, it's like we already know how we were when we were seventeen, eighteen. You know, and on that album cover on the back, he has every all these people, at all these people who ran with all the people that I mean, it's like twenty people on the back of this album cover. Mm-hmm. All of them dead. That's wild. Every last one of them dead. But Nas lived, right? Nas, Nas was the from Rakim. If not Rakim can have a baby, it's Nas, right? Mm-hmm. It's Nas, and he knows this. Rakim, 
you know, people don't know Rock Nas spent some studio times with Rakim as a kid. When Rakim is the recording Queens with Marley Mall, Mar, mm-hmm. Nas is there. Nas is around. Not Rakim remembers Nas as a bit as a kid. Right? And what you what you talk about the Avengers, like how the Avengers came together, see. The reason why Nas has separate producers is because they knew that the East Coast needed somebody. They needed some fresh blood. They needed they needed they needed somebody that was going to carry the flag again. Because the West Coast was taken at the time. Mm-hmm. Right. Killing. So mm-hmm. so so yeah, Q tip, yeah. Oh, Nas? Yeah. Law Professor, mm-hmm. you, Law Professor's already plugged in. Mm-hmm. Remember mm-hmm. that that song you talking about where he went? That's that's Law yeah. Professor, that's main, the main source. He already know exactly. who Nas is. He already he already there. You know what I'm saying? P Rock, yeah, Nas, yeah. They Nas was so he was the one, and they knew it. They knew it, and that's them. That's them all coming together to back up because Nas needed the help. You know, he's young. He needed the help. You know, he didn't know how to write hooks. If you if you listen to Illmatic, who's singing it? Uh, uh, the world is yours. Pete Rock. Pete Rock. Yeah. Who's singing? Represent in the background. All his people. All the people. He like his, his crew. Represent, y'all. Mm-hmm. That's him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's them. Like he didn't know how to write hooks. He didn't know how to do all of that. So they they everybody in that studio gave Nas all of the help he needed. And they all they all are responsible for this classic because they Nas needed them but this album it's not just an album bro i don't even know how to explain it because i've never been this attached to a, a, a some to music i've never been attached to music not the illmatic album is not only the best rap album but it's the best album beatles you talking about mm anybody any rock group anybody you can name queen all of them illmatic needs to be mentioned in any of those conversations period and that's all i that that's how that's how i leave it because i i can go on and on about illmatic but i just say nas that we appreciate you sacrificing because you sacrificed a lot and we'll and, and later on in life we'll, when when these songs when 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 the story comes out Nas sacrificed a lot he could have been killed he still lived in he, he still lived in Queensbridge when he made this album he was still living in Queensbridge you know he still was mixed up in a lot of stuff a lot of Queens politics mm-hmm. but he sacrificed a lot of that and a lot of um he, he he made his way out of that. Like, cause you when you leave when you leave beef, there's a possibility something gonna happen mm-hmm. to somebody mm-hmm. that you love. You understand what I'm saying? So it gets it gets a little murky. But he, he but he did that to make this album. This album was to stick it out, and he got out. And he and, and he's a he's a he's a he's a multi millionaire now. So no, salute to Nas. Uh, yeah, he for real. But salute to Nas. Thank you, all the producers that that contributed to Illmatic. Is it's not it, it? It means a lot. I, I did not. I don't think Nas would ever mean know what how much Illmatic means to to hip hop. You know what I'm saying? So with with Nas, actually, man, I got I got uh, introduced to Nas later because I had an older brother and he he helped me to enter he helped me to uh learn about hip-hop and everything at the time because i mean he's older but um mm. one of the things he did out uh, from my understanding at that time he did not listen to nas like that so i had to go and uh become introduced to nas on my at my own out the and... mat he's a hater sometimes so out the mat. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I mean, but <laughs> but uh i got introduced to i mean in high school i uh i've heard nas and everything but i didn't get really acquainted with who he was as far as hip-hop was and you know to take in the whole impact of of his presence on hip-hop until stillmatic that's when i really got you know 
my formal introdu- introduction into, into Nas. And so that made me go back, and that's when I listened to Illmatic myself. And uh, yeah, man, um, it was definitely a classic. So I, I love the fact that the producers at that time came in and helped him to put that masterpiece together. Um, especially one of my favorites, Q-Tip. So mm. hearing that, Q-tip, yeah, and hearing the and hearing the 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 work that they did to help him to become who he like a, the legend he is in the game. I mean, it's it's definitely notable, man. Um, and just like you said, you know, um, at seventeen, somebody a kid writing all this stuff, having that much deep, you know, perspective on life, and being able to, you know, add their observation to it and carry it a, a, a notch further it 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 definitely is to be uh recognized so yeah man i'm telling you man i i, I don't know some of the stuff that he's written it's just crazy how you 17 and you've written like like just the 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 most layered lyrics ever like definitely. you know so Man, I I, I I like I might probably listen to Lil Maddie tonight, man. I don't know. I might I might do that, man. But <laughs> hey. Deep in the rap, graffiti, break dancing, DJ and B-boy stance. I'm seeing, I harness those artifacts Collecting data of the transitions like an almanac Hip-hop ain't dead, these young boys different adapting Over time, every day the world's spinning Let's celebrate the fact, we're still winning, we global Kids from the project became moguls Real to real track, boys to pro tools Vinyls, cassettes, and the tape decks, CDs Now you can stream your music to the consumer direct And get most of the checks, I'm noble